Oh, the deer. So, you know, I covered up these plants because I don't know what they are, but the deer like to eat them. And yesterday I thought, you know what? They haven't been over here. They haven't been bothering them. Um, I'm going to uncover them. And overnight they came and chopped them off. Why? What is so great about this plant that the deer can sniff them out overnight? Oh, so frustrating. So here we are at Blue Horizon Nursery in Grand Junction, Michigan, where I showed them a picture of the plant that the deer ate, and they don't know what it is. So I'm going to leave two of them covered up and see if they bloom. But they got lots of beautiful things here, and it's a huge place if you want to come check it out. Look at that very blue tree. I hope you can see how very blue it is. So it occurred to me that some of my viewers might not know much about how garlic grows. Um, you plant garlic in the fall and then you pick it when these um, leaves start to die back in July, hopefully. Um, everything's late this year, so we'll see what happens to the garlic. But in the spring, they have these things called scapes, these curly things. And if you pull them out, they usually snap off. Sometimes they pull out real nice, but um, you can fry them up in an omelet or something. Um, you can make pesto from them, scape pesto. Um, so anyway, you can eat them and um, the garlic will grow bigger if you pull them out. At least that's what appears to happen. So. Um, I'm pulling my garlic scapes today and there are a whole lot of them so if you live around me and you want some garlic scapes let me know and um, here in southwest Michigan we have a whole lot of wineries and one that's been around for quite a while is St. Julian winery in Pawpaw and on Saturday um, we took a bunch of things to the dump and we took a bunch of things to the household hazardous waste recycling program. And so we had an empty trailer and I remembered that the winery had posted on Facebook that they had a whole bunch of wine barrels to sell. So we went over there and bought a wine barrel. And while I was at work today, my dad cut it in half. So one half will go to their house as a planter and one house, one half will stay at my house as a planter. So I'm super excited. Thanks, Dad.